hydrochloric acid solution in chloroform onto the water surface. Notice how the droplets spread out as they strike the water surface. Different materials produce different spreading patterns. As more and more solution is added, the efficiency of spreading decreases. Here we see the spreading from a different angle. The droplets are being added in the corner of the lamware trough. The lamware trough is now switched to its automatic control mode which allows the lamware film to be compressed to a preset surface pressure. Notice how the constant perimeter barrier moves forward to compress the film. In normal practice, the compression rate is much slower than in this demonstration. Now watch the top right of the screen, which displays the surface pressure value. The dramatic rise in surface pressure is characteristic of the stearic acid compression isotherm. As this value approaches the preset surface pressure, no further compression is required. An electronic feedback mechanism between the surface pressure sensor and the barrier motors ensures that the desired surface pressure is maintained. This is how chloroform droplets interact with pure water. They spread dramatically over the surface, as you can see. Now let's see what happens when we add chloroform droplets to the compressed stearic acid monolayer. Rather than spreading, the chloroform remains in droplet form. Notice, however, how the compression barrier has begun to move inwards. This occurs because monolayer material is being dissolved by the chloroform droplets. This results in a reduction of surface pressure, which is quickly restored by the feedback mechanism. This process is what we call monolayer eating. Let's look at this again. At the same time as the monolayer is being dissolved, the chloroform droplets are evaporating. This leads to eventual precipitation of the solid stearic acid crystals which can be seen embedded within the remaining monolayer. Occasionally, rings of crystallites precipitated from around the edge of large droplets can be seen. We've seen the monolayer eating behaviour for stearic acid, but other monolayers show even more interesting behaviour. I felt like there was something missing in my day-to-day -day life So I quickly opened the wardrobe Pulled out some jeans and a t-shirt that seemed clean Topped it off with a pair of old shoes that were ripped around the seams We hope you've enjoyed our demonstration of the monolayer meeting me. Hey, I put some new shoes on and suddenly everything's right I said